Hot take. Without leap years, your birthday would slowly creep in a whole new season. No joke, in a hundred years, you could be celebrating your summer birthday surrounded by snow. Let me explain how our calendar almost betrays us. So Earth takes about 365.242 days to go around the sun. That .242, it looks innocent, but it's a sneaky little time thief. If we ignored it and just stuck to 365 days a year, we'd lose about six hours every single year. You don't notice it right away, but those hours add up fast. Now imagine this, it's 2024 and New Year's feels off. Like plants are blooming too early, winter's lagging behind, and summer starts in what used to feel like spring. That's because within a century, you'd lose about 24 days, almost a whole month. Imagine Christmas in January or Halloween in November. Chaos. Our ancestors caught onto this early. The Egyptians, the Romans, they all noticed the weird drift. Julius Caesar brought in the leap year idea in 45 BC, and then Pope Gregory tweaked it in 1582. He basically said, okay, we'll do a leap year every four years, but skip it on century years, unless the year is divisible by 400. That rule? The reason 2000 had a leap year, but 1900 didn't. It sounds super petty, adding one single day every four years, but it's the only reason your calendar hasn't completely unraveled. So yeah, next time you roll your eyes at February 29th, remember that one little day is literally saving our seasons.